Okay, so I've actually blended it a little bit longer. I just let it blend while I was um, cleaning up and stuff. And, and if you blend it long enough, it gets hot and warm like soup. So that's what a high speed blender does. Um, I do love my blender. <laughs> and it's not a Vitamix. Uh, I would love a Vitamix, but um, until this one breaks or something, um, I won't be getting a Vitamix. So, um, especially because I'm in the beginning, this blender is like half the price of a Vitamix. And um, it did cut my time making my smoothies basically less than half the time that I would take to usually make a smoothie with my other blender. So, anyway, enough about the blender. So, the type of dehydrator I have is um, the Nesco Garden Master 1000 um, watts. And this will be the first time that I'm using this, but I've heard great reviews about it. Um, it has um, heat temperature settings right on um, the actual machine. And it's all digital, so you can um, increase or decrease the heat. And these ones you're going to need to put it on a temperature of 105. So, um... I've never done this before, so don't judge me. I'm just measuring. This is parchment paper, and you can get this at any food store. Um, and I'm just kind of poking my hole for the middle part. Okay. And then I'm going to take pour some in here. Ooh, it smells so good. Um, I tasted this and it would taste great as just a soup. Yeah. And it's low fat because it's only two thirds um, cup of flax seeds and um, two, yeah, so two thirds cup of flax seed and that's divided between the two Batter. So unless you're going to eat all two of the batters, that's 530 something um, calories. <laughs> it's not a lot. So yeah. Um, all right. So this is what I'm going to do. She just says to take your spoon and kind of just lay it on there like that. And so. I'm just going to do this. And she says this is how you get them so cracker thin. Basically, this is what you do for all of it. Um, half of it I put in in the fridge because the onion that I had was just too like frozen, <laughs> and so I'm just gonna get another onion. Um, and besides, that onion's been in there for a while. But onions do last a long time, so. So it's pretty easy. It's probably easier if you have the rectangle um, dehydrators. But what I've realized that those dehydrators, um, are only like 600 watts, and so I'm a type of person that don't like I don't like to wait very long. And dehydrating, you gotta wait long anyway. But um, sorry, my dogs. 
um, at least with the thousand watt thing, you won't have to wait as long. So I'm just grabbing another tray, I'm just putting it on top. Oh yeah, I think this is the top tray, so this has to be on top. Maybe. I don't know. They all look the same. Maybe I just don't have to. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, it's just the paper, I think. Yeah. Okay. So then I'll just grab another two papers. And then you just keep doing it. So we don't have any more batter, so I'm just cutting this, cutting this over here because um, the air needs to get through. have the, they call the fruit roll-up sheets, but I only have one of them, and so I'll just use that one later, but it, I wanted to use a parchment paper because you can just take it off and then, because once you dehydrate this, um, I don't know what this one, because she uses an Excalibur and those are like only 600 watts. So, um, this is a thousand watt, then maybe it'll go faster, but she dehydrated like overnight, like 12 hours. And then she flipped them over and then dehydrated it again for like, I think eight to 10 hours, something like that. But you have to figure out your dehydrator and see how your dehydrator dries. And so that's what I'm going to do with this one. Okay. This might go horribly wrong or be really good. So I'll let you find out. So um basically I'm just gonna keep doing this until all of my I have four um towers or plates or whatever you want to call this round thing. Um, I have four of them. I just got it for Christmas, so it's the first time I'm using it. And excuse my dogs in the background, I'm sorry about that. They're just crazy. Just crazy dogs. This one might come out. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to keep doing this until I either one run out of batter or two run out of room. And then I will put it at 105 degrees because that is raw temperature. And I'll let you know how it goes. Um, yeah, I only have one of the fruit sheets, so I just figure until I get more fruit sheets, then I'll just use the parchment paper. Maybe the par which paper, parchment paper paper just works better. But it's not cheaper in the long run, but parchment paper isn't expensive. So I'm going to keep doing this and then um, once the once I have to flip the chips, I'll come back and let you see what I do when I flip them. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Um, dried on one side. So basically all I did was take the sheet and just flip them off. And it took about, it did take about 12 hours to do. So um, then you just peel it off and turn it around and put it back on the sheet with no paper on there. So I'll finish this and then I'll come back when they're all finished and done.
Okay, so I wanted to show you the, um, what, what was the outcome, so you can see them all right there. And they're pretty, um, like, here you can hear it, they're like cracker crunchy. Um, you can hear my chew up. <laughs> and they're, they don't taste like like a barbecue, like like Lay's barbecue chips. They taste like, um, like they have an end taste of barbecue, like barbecue on the grill, barbecue. And so they are good, and um, like they have a good aftertaste, which most, th most things, they don't have good aftertaste, so it's like, ugh, you know, but it does. Um... Excuse me. Just wanted to finish that check. So I just put it in a plastic bag there. And I think next time I would add more black seed so it'd be just a little bit thicker. Because they're super thin. You can see that. And they're kind of like ripple chips. But yeah, I like them. So go ahead and try out that recipe. And I'm also going to try it on um, zucchini noodles because I got um, a zucchini, or not a zucchini, um, vegetable spiralizer. Sorry. <laughs> vegetable spiralizer. And um, so um, I'll do kind of like a video of all the things that I got um, for that and all that jazz because I got a lot of stuff for my birthday. And I just, I'll share that with you. Alright, so, um, I hope you all like this, uh, this kind of, you know, review tutorial thingy. And, um, like I said, it would be awesome as a soup. And, um, I just got an onion, so I'm going to make the onion, um, rings too. And it's basically the same procedure. You just slice up your onions and then just put it in the in the sauce and then put it in your dehydrator and then you just dehydrate it. This took me about I would say um, I did it for 12 hours first and then I uh, flipped it over like I showed you and then um, I put it on there probably for another eight hours and it was done. So <clears throat> excuse me um, I'll do that with the onion rings and then you'll see um, I'll probably put like a little update on that and show you the review on that and everything and um, <clears throat> excuse me so yeah um, thanks for watching everybody and um, you'll see more videos like this in the future so thank you and everybody have a blessed day bye bye